Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at how you can allow your application to let the user select a picture from the gallery. So since the last tutorial I've added some more code to my Note Squirrel application and in fact let's take a look at it and if I hold, a, hold down the recent apps button or in an older phone I'll press the menu button and I go, go to this replace image option I get this dialogue which asks me if I want to either take a photo or browse the gallery and if I take a photo it will run my camera action and it will save the photo, the URI of the photo that the camera returns in a preference and set it as the image for my for my um, application and let's just take a quick look. One thing that I didn't cover out of that lot in the, a previous tutorial was how you can have a custom dialog with for example two buttons in it or whatever you want and that's actually pretty simple. All you do is let's see so I've got a here's my replace image dialog and you, you use get layout inflator dot inflate and here is an XML layout with my two buttons in it and I've just done builder.setView on the return value of getLayoutInflator.inflate passing it the ID of that XML and that allows me allows you to create custom dialogues which is what I've done so there's nothing massively new there and I figured it didn't really justify a whole tutorial in itself and the camera code is stuff that we've all we've, we've um, covered before in now in a previous tutorial but now I want to show you how to browse the gallery and in this tutorial we'll just look at creating an intent to browse the gallery and then in the next tutorial we'll go on to looking at how you retrieve the actual data that the gallery returns so if you if I click that button in my dialog let's take a look if I click this browse gallery button I've got um, a listener here to that button which just runs this browse gallery method and at the moment that's empty now what I need to do here is create an intent and I'm going to say intent i equals and I could create an implicit intent that lets the user select an image from any available source but since it's already hard enough to get the return value just from the gallery what with users using possibly different custom file managers and that kind of thing I'm just going to stick to an explicit intent that explicitly launches the gallery action and I'm going to say here new intent and for the first argument I'm going to say intent.action whoops I keep getting this from Eclipse which is quite annoying intent.action pick here we go and to specify the actual activity to run I'm going to say media store dot image images dot media dot external content URI and this intent will hopefully run the gallery and it will bring me back a URI of um, a kind of unique identifier within the gallery of the image that was selected and then in the next tutorial I'll have to do a little bit of work to get the actual image itself the actual image file from that URI but let's say start activity for result and pass it the intent and for the request code here I'm going to create a request code so I've already got my photo taken request code which I set to zero and I'm going to say private static final int select image well, or let's actually call it browse gallery underscore request and I'll set that equal to one and it doesn't matter what number I set it to as long as it's different to this one and let's go down here and now I can fill in this integer request code here to browse gallery request and let's run this oh and actually while I'm at it I'm just gonna copy that because I'm gonna go to my on activity result which I'm already using I've already overridden this method for my camera image but here I'm going to say if request code 
equals browse gallery request and in here I can fill in some more stuff but for the moment what I'll do is I'll say toast dot make text and for the text I'll say gallery result and let's just um, I'm just going to output the value data dot get data data is actually the intent here that's passed to one activity result I've just called it data or you could call it intent or something let's call it let's um, supply here toast dot length long I'll say dot show and hopefully that will allow us to see what the gallery actually returns and we'll, we'll look at that more in the next tutorial so your on activity result gets past this intent which I've called data and I'm just saying the intent here dot get data which should get me a URI now let's go back to my phone here so I'll just go back to the um, Android um, screencast program uh, actually I've started protecting my phone with a pin which although it's annoying I was getting really worried about what would happen if I lost my phone and someone had access to all my email accounts okay so I'm just gonna log into my application here by pressing the right points and here we are let's bring up this menu and I press replace image and browse gallery and with a bit of luck we'll go into the gallery and here we are here's the gallery and I can select a photo here let's select this one rather than this ugly shot of me and there we go and if you're quick enough whoops it's gone now uh, let's try that again see if it works again although my application might now be in some kind of crazy inconsistent state let's take a look here we go here we go content colon slash slash media slash external and so on that is a URI of a image in the gallery but it's not the file name of an image and in the next tutorial we're going to see how to get the file name so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding